Hey, Tyson Mujix here with Mujix Firm Injury Lawyers. Today I'm going to answer the question of whether or not police reports are admissible in evidence at trial. And the answer to that question is no. And that's a common misconception. We have people calling, calling us all the time saying, well, it's in the police report and yada, yada, yada. You'll be able to use that in trial. Unfortunately, a police report is just nothing but hearsay evidence. It's not... It's not actual evidence we can use in trial. There's no exceptions to it. The only only exception there might be to some things of it is it's called a admission by a party opponent. So let's say that the defendant says something in the police report and it's in quotations, then yes, we could use that against them. However, that's gotta come from the police officer testifying. It's not gonna come from the actual police report. So don't think that um, just because there's a police report and it's in your favor that we're gonna be able to use that actual document because it's full of hearsay it's full of legal conclusions because in that police report it marks usually marks a person at fault or sometimes it doesn't mark the person at fault which that's what you want a lot of times and uh, it's it's called evading the province of the jury that's just a fancy word for saying it's coming to a legal conclusion whenever that's the the, the job of the jury to do all right so that's the major reason, those two reasons, hearsay and evading the province of the jury are the major reasons why that does not come into evidence. Now, if there are accompanying documents, uh, when it comes, or photographs or videos, or if there's an audio recording of the officer recording um, the, the defendant or you, or if there's a 911 tape, all of that comes into evidence. The actual police report, okay, so the officer's legal conclusions, the officer's conclusions, um, the hearsay that the officer has written into the report, none of that comes in. So if there was any part of that document that came in, it would be the admissions, it had to be in quotations, and the rest of it would be redacted. It would be whited out and you wouldn't be able to get it into evidence. Now, if you can trick defense counsel into stipulating to get that in, you might be able to get it into evidence, but it's extremely rare that you'd be able to get that to happen. And, and, and if you did, either the attorney's stupid and doesn't know what they're doing, or um, they want it in for another reason because it benefits them, right? So if they stipulate and say it's okay for it to come in, you want to be very, very suspicious of their reasoning as to why they want that in. All right, I've answered that question. Is it admissible in evidence? 99% of the time, no, it is not. If you have any other questions about that, give us a call, 888-550-4026. Share at our website, TysonMetrix.com. Make sure you also like this video and subscribe to this channel. And then like us on video where we share a lot of great information every day. Thanks for watching. See ya.